get ready to be shocked. I've uncovered nine undeniable signs that prove we're living in the end times of 2024. According to a prophetic word from God, many turn to ancient prophecies and divine messages for answers in a world of uncertainties. Are we truly living in the end times? Join us as we explore nine shocking signs that 2024 might be the year foretold by prophetic words from God. Stay tuned to discover the truth behind these revelations and what they mean for our future. Are you ready for the signs of the end times in 2024? Today, we're delving into God's prophetic word to uncover nine signs that may indicate the approaching end times. The concept of the end times has fascinated and intrigued people for centuries. In 2024, many believe we are on the brink of significant events aligning with biblical prophecies. Welcome to our thought-provoking video where we delve into the mysterious and often alarming signs that suggest we are approaching the end times. In this captivating journey, we'll uncover nine key indicators backed by prophetic words. That point to 2024 as a pivotal year in the divine timeline. Keep watching till the end to be aware of the signs of the end times. One. Unprecedented Natural Disasters We'll start by examining the surge in natural disasters. From devastating earthquakes to catastrophic floods, the frequency and intensity of these events are unlike anything we've seen before. Are these calamities a sign of divine intervention or simply coincidences? We'll explore what prophetic texts have to say. Earthquakes have become more frequent and severe. Notable examples include the devastating earthquakes that caused massive losses of life and property. Prophecies in various religious texts, such as the Bible, often describe earthquakes as a sign of God's intervention or a precursor to significant changes. For instance, the Bible mentions in Matthew 24, 7. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places, this passage suggests that such natural events are part of a larger divine plan. Floods have ravaged many parts of the world, displacing millions and causing widespread devastation. In the prophetic context, floods are often seen as a form of divine cleansing or judgment. The story of Noah's Ark is a prime example of God sending a great flood to cleanse the earth of its wickedness. Wildfires have become more common and destructive. They destroy vast land areas and contribute to climate change and environmental degradation. In prophecy, wildfires can be interpreted as a sign of purification and nature's wrath. They serve as a reminder of humanity's responsibility to care for the earth and the consequences of failing to do so. Clue, global pandemics, the world is still reeling from recent pandemics, and new, more virulent strains of diseases are emerging. Prophecies often mention plagues as a precursor to the end times. We'll delve into how these health crises fit into the bigger picture. Three, wars and conflicts. Conflicts are escalating from the Middle East to Eastern Europe. We'll examine how these wars align with biblical prophecies and what they might signify about nearing the end times. Four, technological advancements. Technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. Could these innovations fulfill prophecies about the rise of a new world order or the mark of the beast? We'll discuss the implications of our rapidly changing world. Five, moral decay. Many believe societal values are deteriorating. We'll explore how the erosion of moral standards is viewed through the lens of prophecy and what it means for humanity. 6. Economic Instability Global economies are experiencing significant turmoil. From inflation to market crashes, financial instability is becoming the norm. 
We'll examine prophetic words that warn of economic collapse as signs of the end times. 7. Environmental changes, environmental degradation, and climate change are of global concerns. We'll investigate how these environmental crises align with prophecies about the Earth groaning under the weight of human sin. 8. False Prophets and Deceivers Many false prophets will arise in the end times. We'll discuss how to discern truth from deception and identify false teachings that lead people astray. 9. Global Unification Efforts to unify the world under one government or system are increasing. We'll analyze how these movements correlate with prophecies about a one-world government and the potential rise of the Antichrist. We live in extraordinary times. That many believe. Align with the prophetic words of the Bible about the end times. Here's a simple summary to help you understand what this means. We see many signs that the Bible predicted would happen in the end times. Natural disasters like earthquakes, famines, and strange events in the sky are becoming more frequent. These signs serve as warnings that significant changes are on the horizon. Many leaders and figures today deceive people with false promises and teachings. The Bible warns about the rise of the Antichrist and false prophets who will lead many astray. It's crucial to stay vigilant and discerning recognizing truth from falsehood. We are witnessing more wars, conflicts, and social unrest worldwide. These events fulfill the biblical prophecy of global turmoil. This period of increased conflict is a reminder of society's moral and spiritual decline. Christians are facing more persecution for their faith, from discrimination to outright violence. Believers are being tested. The Bible predicted this would happen, urging Christians to remain steadfast in their faith. Israel continues to play a pivotal role in global events. Just as the Bible prophesied, the focus on Israel, including the possibility of the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem, is a significant marker of the end times. One of the most hopeful aspects of the end Time's prophecy is the promise of Jesus' return. Jesus will return to defeat evil, establish his kingdom, and bring final judgment. This event is a cornerstone of Christian hope and faith. There will be a final judgment at which everyone will be held accountable for their actions. Believers who have followed Jesus will be rewarded with eternal life, while those who have rejected him will face consequences. This judgment emphasizes the importance of living a righteous life. The message of the end times is not meant to scare us, but to prepare us. It encourages us to live faithfully and righteously, knowing God is in control. By strengthening our relationship with God, praying, reading the Bible, and helping others, we can be spiritually ready for what is to come. After the end times, God promises a new heaven and earth where there will be no more suffering or pain. Believers will live eternally with God in a place of perfect peace and joy. The signs of the end times are here, reminding us that significant changes are approaching. These prophetic words encourage us to stay vigilant live according to God's teachings and maintain hope in the promise of Jesus' return and the establishment of his eternal kingdom. By preparing spiritually and living righteously, we can face these times with confidence and faith, knowing that God has a plan and is always with us. Many are experiencing a spiritual awakening amidst the chaos. We'll highlight how this renewed interest in spirituality and faith is seen as a sign of the approaching end times and what it means for believers. These various signs and events could indicate the approaching end times in 2024. From natural disasters to political unrest and technological advancements, 
the world seems on the verge of significant shifts. Specific signs such as the increasing frequency and intensity of natural disasters, widespread political turmoil, and advancements in AI and surveillance technologies all point to a world in transition. But amidst these signs, one critical moment is remarkably prophetic for 2024. This moment could hold the key to unlocking the timeline of the end times as foretold in the scriptures. The prophetic word about the end times is a message found in the Bible that talks about what will happen at the end of the world. Here are some key points in simple words. One, signs in nature. The Bible says, there will be unusual natural events like earthquakes, famines and strange happenings in the sky. These signs are meant to alert people that something significant is coming. Two, deceptive leaders. Influential leaders will try to deceive people. One of these leaders is often called the Antichrist. He pretends to bring peace and solutions, but leads many people away from the truth. Three, increased conflict. The world will see more wars, conflicts, and unrest. There will be more division and fighting among nations and within communities. Four, persecution of believers. People who follow Jesus will face more opposition and persecution. Their faith will be tested, but they are encouraged to stay strong and faithful. Five, focus on Israel. Israel will play a central role in the end times. Events in Israel will be significant and many prophecies will be fulfilled there. Six, second coming of Jesus. The second coming is one of the most important events in Jesus Christ's return. He will return to defeat evil, bring justice and establish his kingdom. Seven, hope and preparation. These prophecies are not meant to scare people, but to give hope. They remind believers to stay vigilant, live righteously, and be prepared for Jesus' return. Eight, eternal kingdom. After the end times, there will be a new heaven and earth where God will live with his people forever. There will be no more pain, suffering, or death. The Bible says that we will see earthquakes, more frequent and intense earthquakes will occur. Famines, food shortages and hunger will affect many parts of the world. Strange events in the sky, unusual occurrences in the sky, such as solar eclipses, blood moons, and other celestial signs. Antichrist, a charismatic leader will emerge, promising peace and prosperity, but leading people away from God. He will deceive many by performing miracles and making convincing arguments. False prophets. Many people claim to speak for God, but spread false teachings. These false prophets mislead people and cause confusion, wars and rumors of wars. Conflicts between countries will become more common. There will be ongoing talks and threats of war, civil unrest. Within countries, there will be more division, protests, and violence. Society will become more unstable. Opposition. Christians will face increased hostility and opposition to their beliefs. They might be ridiculed, discriminated against, or even harmed. Testing of faith. Believers will be challenged to remain true to their faith, despite difficulties and persecution. This period will test their commitment and resilience. Central role. Events in Israel will be critical in the end. The Bible predicts that Israel will face conflicts, but also play a crucial part in God's plan, rebuilding the temple. Some prophecies suggest in Jerusalem that the Jewish temple in will be rebuilt, signaling a significant event in the timeline of the end times, return of Christ. Jesus will return to earth, visibly and powerfully. Everyone will see and recognize his return, defeat of evil. Jesus will conquer evil forces, including the Antichrist and his followers. 
This will mark the end of their reign of deception and destruction, establishment of his kingdom. Jesus will set up his eternal kingdom, bringing peace, justice, and righteousness. Judgment Day. On this day, everyone will be judged according to their actions and beliefs. This is often called the Day of Judgment or Judgment Day, Rewards and Consequences. Those who have followed Jesus and lived according to Gid's teachings will be rewarded with eternal life. Those who have rejected him will face punishment, encouragement. The End Times Message encourages believers to stay strong in their faith. It reminds them that God is in control and has a plan, living righteously. Believers are encouraged to live good, moral lives, follow Jesus' teachings and help others. Spiritual readiness, being prepared spiritually means having a solid relationship with God, praying regularly, reading the Bible, and living out one's faith. New heaven and new earth. After the end times, God will create a new heaven and earth where no more suffering or pain will exist. God's presence. God will live with his people and there will be perfect peace, joy, and harmony, eternal life. Believers will enjoy eternal life with God, free from the troubles and trials of the current world. The prophetic word about the end times serves as both a warning and a source of hope. It alerts people to be aware of the signs and events that will occur, but also reassures believers that God has a plan and is in control. By staying faithful, living righteously, and maintaining a solid relationship with God, believers can look forward to a future filled with peace, justice, and eternal life in God's kingdom. Staying informed and prepared is essential. Whether you view these signs as divine messages or coincidences, understanding their potential impact can help you make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones. In these times of uncertainty, it's natural to seek answers and look for signs. Whether you're a firm believer in prophetic words or simply curious, understanding these signs can offer perspective and comfort. Remember, the future is not set in stone, and awareness can be a powerful tool in navigating whatever lies ahead. Let's pray together, Heavenly Father. I come before you with a heart full of humility and reverence. I acknowledge your greatness and the profound wisdom of your word. As I contemplate the prophetic messages about the end times, I am filled with awe, fear, and hope. I seek your guidance and strength during these uncertain times. Lord, I recognize the signs and wonders that your word speaks of. The world around me is changing rapidly with natural disasters, pandemics, and various upheavals. It is easy to feel overwhelmed and anxious, but I hold on to the truth that you are in control. You have foreseen all these events, which are part of your divine plan. Help me to trust in your sovereignty, even when the world seems chaotic. Father, the rise of leaders who deceive and lead many astray is frightening. I pray for wisdom to recognize truth from falsehood. Guard my heart and mind against deception. Let your Holy Spirit guide me in all truth, so I may not be led away from you. Strengthen my faith, so that I may stand firm in your word, and not be swayed by the allure of false promises. As global turmoil increases, with conflicts and wars becoming more frequent, I pray for peace. Not just the absence of war, but the deep, abiding peace that only you can provide. I pray that the leaders of nations may seek wisdom and guidance in you on their decisions. I ask for your protection over the innocent and vulnerable who suffer in these times of strife. Help me to be an instrument of your peace, showing love and compassion to those around me. Lord, I am aware that many face persecution of believers. I pray for those persecuted for their faith that you will give them courage and strength. 
May their testimony be a light in the darkness, drawing others to you. And if I face persecution, grant me the grace to endure with faith and love. Let me not be ashamed of the gospel, but proclaim it boldly, knowing that you are with me. The prophecies about Israel's gathering remind me of your faithfulness to your promises. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all the people of Israel. May your purposes for them be fulfilled, and may they come to know Jesus as their Messiah. I also pray for unity among all believers so that they can stand together as one body in Christ, supporting and encouraging each other. Lord Jesus, I long for your return. The promise of your second coming fills me with hope and anticipation. I look forward to the day you will defeat all evil, establish your kingdom, and bring about final judgment. Help me to live each day in the light of this hope keeping my eyes fixed on you. Let my life reflect your love and grace, drawing others to the hope in you. In these times, I seek to prepare spiritually. I ask for a heart continually transformed by your love and truth. Help me to grow in my relationship with you, spending time in prayer and your word. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I may bear the fruit of the Spirit in my life. May my actions and words glorify you, and may I be a beacon of your light in this world. Father, I pray for my family and friends so they may be prepared for the times ahead. Help them to know you profoundly and trust in your promises. Use me as an instrument of your love and truth in their lives. I pray for their protection, provision, and peace as I navigate these prophetic times, let me not be consumed by fear, but filled with faith. Remind me daily of your love and your promises. You have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Help me live boldly and courageously for you, knowing you are always with me. Thank you, Lord, for your presence and unwavering love. Thank you for the hope in you, even amid uncertainty. I trust you, knowing that you hold the future in your hands. Guide me, protect me, and use me for your glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We appreciate your time and attention. Your support keeps us motivated to continue exploring and sharing these profound topics. As we wrap up, it's essential to summarize the nine signs discussed and emphasize the importance of being spiritually prepared for what may lie ahead. The end times may be near, and it's crucial to strengthen our faith and be ready for whatever may come. Please share your thoughts on the signs mentioned and subscribe for more prophetic insights in future videos. Together, let's explore the signs of the times and prepare ourselves for the future. If this video has sparked your curiosity or answered some of your questions, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with friends, family, and anyone interested in understanding these prophetic signs. Your engagement helps this channel reach more people and spread awareness about these crucial topics. We want to hear from you. What do you think about these signs? Do you believe we're living in the end times? Or do you see these events as part of a natural cycle? Leave your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Let's create a community of open-minded individuals who seek to understand these complex and intriguing topics together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer perspective on the signs pointing to 2024 as a significant year in the prophetic timeline. Whether you're a believer Seeking reassurance or a curious skeptic, this journey will challenge your views and encourage you to look deeper into the signs of the times. Remember to like and share for more enlightening content on this and other prophetic revelations. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has provided valuable insights and a deeper understanding of the prophetic signs of the end times. Stay tuned for more videos exploring these fascinating topics. God bless.